Hi, it's calculator time and you know I love calculators. So let's take a look at this Twitter question that uh, popped up on my timeline from Nixcraft, uh, who shows that like what the heck is going on here because the result from their Casio from uh, for a simple equation does not match their shoe phone. So what's going on? Let's try and explain it. So let's get one of the latest Casios here and let's repeat this. Six divided by two and parenthes open parentheses and two plus one, right? So you might think that's six divided by two. Well, that's three. And then, well, there should be a multiply in there. Um, and that's three, of course, because you've got to do inside the bracket. So uh, three times three should equal nine. But let's do equals on here. And uh, it gives us the answer of one. What's going on? So let's try that on my Android shoe phone here. Six divided by two parentheses two plus one. And it's already given us, well, the answer there, uh, without closing the brackets, it's already given us the answer of nine. So what's go why does the shoe phone not match the Casio calculator? Well, it's an interesting question and it's not a bug. Now you might think that this is just an issue with, I don't know how like these modern shoe phones calculate things. Well, let's get another calculator, shall we? And this is a TI-30XS multi-view. So let's give this a go. Six divided by two, parentheses, two plus one. Enter, uh, nine and well, we can do that again just to make sure, and again, and again. It's going to give us the answer of nine. It matches the shoe phone. What's happening? So what's going on here is obviously what's called operator priority or priority of calculations. There's many different uh, terms for it. But basically what we've got here is we're implying uh, a multiplication sign between the two and the parentheses here. Instead of putting it in explicitly, we're actually implying it. And that's called implied multiplication or sometimes juxtaposition uh, multiplication because they're next to it just by the nature that they're next to each other, that's what it means. Anyway, we'll call it implied multiplication. So if we actually repeat this and we put the multiplication in there, okay, it does give us um, still the result of nine. So this Android calculator makes no distinction between an implied multiplication sign when it's not there or if you specifically put it in. They're the same priority of operation. So obviously you can completely come a gutter here if you don't uh, know how your calculator works and uh, know how to use it in order to give the result that you actually want. You should never assume that a calculator is going to work a certain way because if you're used to this and you borrow your friend's TI and it gives you a different result or vice versa, then, well, I don't know, <laughs> your rocket crash lands on Mars. But now, watch closely. This new Casio is actually really good. It helps out in this regard. It's actually telling you specifically what it's going to do. So watch what happens here on the display as I press enter and evaluate that expression. Ta-da! Do you see it? It added an extra parentheses in here because this is what it's doing internally. And this is Casio's new way of actually telling you, hey, look, I specifically don't want to confuse you here, so I'm going to show you what I'm actually doing internally. So it's added the parentheses here. So what it's decided is that it's more important to evaluate this parentheses first before doing six divided by two. And that's why you get the answer one, because two multiplied by three here is six. Again, we actually have an implied multiplication in here, but because we've got the parentheses around here, it's it's not going to make a difference. We've essentially got it does two plus one and I'll show you uh, the order of operations in a minute but it does two plus one first because anything inside a parentheses takes priority so it does that first so it does two plus one which is three multiplied implied multiplied by two which is six and six divided by six is of course one so this is not a bug it's just and the way that the calculator evaluates the expression and has an order of priority. In fact, this particular example seems to be so well known in the industry that Casio have actually included it in the manual. And here it is for the FX991EX. And you can see it specifically gives the example here that we've got. And it, it specifically tells you how it's going to evaluate it. And it specifically tells you it will deliberately include the parentheses in there. But why does it do that? 
And this is what you have to look for in your calculator manual for whether or not your calculator is actually going to do, do this. Calculation priority sequence could be called, uh, you know, order of operations or something like that. The priority sequence of input calculations is evaluated in accordance with the rules below. Uh, where, when the priority of two expressions is the same, the calculation is performed from left to right. So you might think that surely an implied multiplication in here is uh, basically the same priority as a divide here, uh, but it's actually not. Look at this. Number one is, as, as I said, parenthetical expressions, <laughs> basically anything in the parentheses. So two plus one uh, will get evaluated first. And then functions that have parentheses, uh, so, you know, functions sine, cos, tan, and all that. So you have to get all the way down to priority number seven here until you find multiplication where the multiplication sign is omitted. So they're saying that, that means implied multiplication or juxtaposition. Um, some manuals uh, like TI, for example, might actually use the terminology like implied uh, multiplication, but that's what they mean. So that's priority seven. And you have to get all the way down to priority 10 here before you get to multiplication and division. So you can see that implied multiplication actually has a higher priority than uh, just regular multiplication, which is why it inserts an extra parenthesis there because it's telling you specifically that it has a higher uh, priority, it gives a higher priority to the implied multiplication than it does to the division. But if we put in the specific multiplier sign, we tell it exactly what we want. Instead of using parentheses, we can go 6 divided by 2 and then multiplied by 2 plus 1. We will get the answer 9 because we're specifically put in the multiplication sign instead of it implying uh, the multiplication. So in this particular case, it's going, well, okay, you've used this uh, multiplication sign. I know exactly what you're doing. There is no implied multiplication. So it's going to do the multiplication first instead of using this higher priority. So why on earth would a calculator treat an implied multiplication with a higher priority than a regular multiplication? Well, um, it probably comes about from basic algebra, and uh, you almost certainly learnt this. This is the what's called the distributive uh, property, and if you have A with a parenthesis and B plus C, that's actually equal to A times B plus A times c. The dot is the multiplication there. Now, although the calculator doesn't actually like rearrange it and calculate it this way, I don't know, maybe it might internally or something, but it certainly doesn't uh, show you that. But the point is, this is how you would write an algebraic function on paper like this. So the calculator actually uh, sees that and goes, right, I'm going to put a bracket around like that, and I'm going to treat that as a function and that, that's going to take higher priority over any sort of like implied multiplication. And you'll see the same thing happen with something like uh, this expression with an implied multiplication before the square root sign here. Now the ti gives you uh, the result of um, square root of 2 or 1.414. 4. So let's uh, express this on the Casio. You can see that once again, it added the parentheses in there to show you what it's doing. And this is 0.707. So it's doing exactly the same thing. But which one's right? Well, you saw that my Android shoe phone gave the result of 9, and uh, this uh, TI gives the result of 9 here. And if you use the Google calculator, it gives you a result of 9. And if you use uh, Wolfram Alpha, it also gives you a result of 9. So is there something weird going on with the Casios? Well, yes and no. Now, here's the original uh, Casio FX991EX over here in the original Twitter post, and it gives the result of 1. And, of course, we've seen that the 991EX instead of MX, so it's the same series, it's the 991, but the MX and EX, it also gives you 1. But what if we do the FX991ES? Not MS, not EX, but ES. What happens? Press Enter. <gasps> nine! What's going on here? This is nuts! We've got three FX991 calculators. Two of them give a give the result of one, uh, which is obviously using that uh, distributive property, the higher priority for the implied multiplication. But the 991ES 
works the same as the TI and like those online calculators, huh? Well, this actually seems to come down to the markets that the calculators are sold in. Now, I believe um, the result of nine like this is a very specific American thing. It's a Yankee thing where, uh, like, the educators in the US, they actually, through their various textbooks, I don't know, the history of how they were doing it or whatever, they actually give the same priority to a an implied multiplication as they do to a regular multiplication, hence you get the result of 9. And I, I assume that this uh, Casio FX991ES is a, a model specifically for the American American market. I believe, please correct me in the comments down below, but this is what I've been able to ascertain is that, and I've uh, found evidence of this from Casio themselves in another video which I'll, uh, I just found, which I'll link in, and they got a response from Casio themselves that's saying, yeah, this is basically a North American thing. And if you want to actually sell calculators into that market, the American market, it's got to work like this and give you the result of nine. And this is why calculators are certified for exams. You'll have various, you know, like educational bodies actually verify calculators and certify them for a particular market. So let's take this one. We've got a Casio FX82AU plus two second edition. Ugh. Goodness, Casio. Um, anyway, this one is, it's, this is approved by the Board of Studies uh, for the New Zealand QA for external examinations. I assume this is like Australian as well, because this is the AU model. This is the Australian model. So let's see what this puppy does. Six divided by two, parentheses, two plus one, and it gives us the result. Sure enough, one, and it added the extra parentheses in there. So that works just like the other Casios I have, but this particular, ES model is different. And this is why, it, this is not a bug. This is very deliberate. They deliberately choose the difference in the uh, priority order of operations for different markets. And America seems to be different to the rest of the world. But please leave it in the comments down below if <laughs> what your calculator does um, in your particular country. But this sort of stuff is in the manual if you just hunt for it. Calculation, priority, sequence. So you can know exactly what your calculator is going to do. It's going to follow this implied multiplication with a higher priority than it does for regular multiplication. But others, like this TI over here, they won't. Here's the manual for that. It says that they're specifically the same. So there you have it. Oh, by the way, I think uh, some of the more modern TI ones actually um, have a higher priority to the implied multiplication. So, uh, yeah, I just don't have one here to show you. But there you go. I hope you found that video interesting. And you've got to be careful and know the order of priority of your calculations. But of course, the best way to avoid any issues with this for the calculator, and every calculator will then work the same, is to not imply anything. As you know the expression, assumptions are the mother of all you know what's, right? So six divided by two multiplied. Put the multiple in there, and then parentheses two plus one, and then you will get the result you, well, <laughs> usually desire for nine. Um, so uh, probably all mathematicians are probably going to say this one is correct. Uh, that gives you the answer of uh, one. But engineers, eh, personally, I'm like old school. I think it should give a result of nine. Just as an aside, uh, Casio came up with VPAM back in the 80s, visually perfect algebraic method it's called and this was a technique to try and you know uh, express things exactly so if you put 10 times uh, sign for example you would have to press sign first before you actually uh, put in the number whereas older non vpam calculators which i greatly prefer and you'll hear me in videos all the time say nah none of that vpam rubbish um because i'm i'm old school in that regard then you would go 10 times 10 and then press the sign button whereas you know casio decided no we want things to match what they are on paper so it doesn't confuse the kids so the calculators don't operate in a different way to what you're seeing down on the paper and this isn't necessarily related to the implied multiplication because as you saw here okay both of these are vpam calculators but they give a different result 
So yeah, you can't rely on just VPAM and non-VPAM actually uh, giving you this. It's calculators for a specific market. Woo! Speaking of non-VPAM uh, calculators, right, we've got a really old school one here and we've got a more modern uh, FX260, which I've done a review and teardown of, uh, by the way. Anyway, um, 6 divided by 2 parentheses 2 plus 1 dirt equals 2. Huh? Oh, God, we've got something different again. Let's try this on here. 6 divided by 2 parentheses 2 plus 1. And what do we get? Uh, two as well. <sighs> so what's happening here is when you do six divided by two like this and then don't press enter, but you press the parentheses, what it's doing is actually eliminating the digit you just typed in and then it's going two plus one, which evaluates to three, and then it's going six divided by three is equal to 2. And we can see that in operation here. If we go 6 divided by 10, for example, parentheses, 2 plus 1, it gives us the same result. It's ignored that 10. It's wiped it out. So that's just how non-VPAM calculators work. So you could argue that's even worse than <laughs> the argument we're having uh, between whether it should be 9 or uh, 1, that we the order of priority uh, thing here. That's just how these older school non-VPAM calculators work. Although, if we go back to my shoe phone here, this is using the RealCalc app, which is what I actually uh, use. It's supposed to have like a look and feel, like of a Casio uh, calculator, not like an exact emulator, but anyway, if we go 6 divided by 2, parentheses, 2 plus 1, it does actually give us <laughs> 9, just to throw a spanner in the works. I was going to throw this on the second channel, but I thought, nah, it's important enough to be on the main channel, because, you know, you could really come a guts with this thing, and, you know, calculations are important in engineering, and you could get them wrong when you're doing calculations on the fly like this, and you're implying something. But your calculator should give you the right result if you tell it specifically what you want to do. So anyway, if you enjoyed that video, found it interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, discuss it down below and let us know if you've got uh, oddball calculators because um, once again, it's not a brand thing. As you saw, like Casio uh, do it in different ways depending on the market. TI, I believe, do the same thing. And yeah, I know, all the HP uh, enter key fanboys are out there going, <laughs> what's this parentheses rubbish? Catch you next time.